Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your video for this Sunday, August 25th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Moved out of my regular space this morning by some flooding on Friday. 4.37 inches of rain in just 50 minutes. Boy, that'll uh, that'll send some water down a hillside and uh, through a garage door and uh, uh, means you're mopping up a little bit. But uh, here we go uh, for today. A few showers showing up again this morning as our pattern continues to be quite different than a week ago. A few showers uh, moving east of the Birmingham area. They're weakening. Uh, dumping about tenth of an inch of rain here this morning uh, at my location. Uh, showers scattered across east central Alabama. They're primarily centered uh, between Alexander City, uh, Columbus, um, uh, Columbus, Georgia, Tuskegee, uh, up to Valley and uh, Lafayette in eastern Alabama. Those are uh, getting a little uh, heavier and stronger, more widespread. We'll see more widespread showers and thunderstorms developing during the day today. Here's the cause, the trough to the west of Alabama. Over eastern Oklahoma, western Arkansas, that trough will slowly move east over the next 24 hours. Getting an idea of what we can expect from our mesoscale modeling this morning, this is the HRRR model for 3 o'clock this afternoon, showing showers and thunderstorms that develop over western parts of Alabama, moving to the northeast during the afternoon, pushing into uh, the middle of Alabama during the evening hours. And uh, so I think you're going to see scattered showers and thunderstorms developing throughout the day. Uh, perhaps two waves of showers moving through if the HRRR is right. This is the second wave around 11 o'clock tonight. And you can expect generally uh, around three quarters of an inch of rain. Uh, at most spots um, in the I-22 corridor, maybe as much as an inch and a half. If you get into one of those heavier showers or storms, watch out for some localized flooding. And of course, always the ever-present danger of lightning. These are highest today, expected off the National Digital Forecast Database, showing the warmest temperatures to the south. The cooler to the north, we'll have more clouds and showers. We'll be around 80 in the Tennessee Valley, uh, lower to middle 80s across central Alabama, with higher readings across south-central sections of our state. Now, by Monday, you can notice that subtle trough centered there uh, north of Memphis beginning to lift out and move across uh, in a way, but I think we'll have a wet day on Monday. This is the uh, output of the 3-kilometer NAM for 9 a.m. Monday, showing widespread showers and thunderstorms moving northeastward across Alabama. That uh, activity will uh, take a good bit of the day to move across, but we can't rule out more scattered showers and storms that are along a boundary left by this system during the night, Monday night, early Tuesday morning. This is the uh, NAM 3K output for 3 a.m. Tuesday morning, showing those leftover showers and storms uh, rumbling across central Alabama Monday night. So we'll be watching that. Now, things begin to change. Uh, they got a deep low up there in Canada, a trough, uh, a trough redeveloping across the Ohio Valley, a stronger trough, one that will have the impetus to push a front through Alabama uh, by midweek. This is Tuesday afternoon. We'll see, still see scattered showers and thunderstorms across Alabama. Rain chances remaining fairly high uh, with that front pushing through. But uh, by Wednesday afternoon, again, it'll be uh, rumbling through the area. Uh, I think Wednesday probably turns out a little drier than what this look is, but we'll have to watch that as we go through time. Now, look by Thursday morning. Look at the difference in the lows. Instead of being near 70 where they are now, lower 70s, we'll uh, have lower 60s, middle 60s across north and central Alabama by Thursday and Friday morning. Some of those normally colder locations will be bragging about their 50s and with good reason. This is Thursday afternoon. Look, Alabama free of showers uh, because the uh, front is down along the Gulf Coast. Same for Friday. Alabama again free of showers. And um, as we move into Saturday, looks like uh, more of the same. Free of showers. So it looks like uh, at least Thursday, Friday, Saturday should be dry, partly cloudy conditions, a little less humid, although becoming more humid as dew points rise by Saturday. And uh, then by Sunday, we'll reintroduce the chance of a few isolated showers and storms uh, across the northern half of the state. Now, this is Monday. Uh, and why are we looking at Monday this far out? It's Labor Day. And uh, Labor Day will be fairly typical across Alabama. Warm and humid, uh, partly cloudy conditions. Seasonal temperatures in the upper 80s. And um, a few scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, across the state. Wouldn't be Labor Day without those, generally. Now, looking at voodoo land. This is Monday, September the 9th. And uh, your eyes are immediately drawn to the activity in the western Gulf of Mexico. This is... Uh, 
the GFS's idea for that uh, night, expecting a tropical storm or hurricane perhaps in the western Gulf. That will be very interesting. We'll be looking at that very closely as we go through time to see if that verifies. Of course, the tropics becoming more active. The uh, fourth named tropical storm uh, of the season yesterday uh, got, uh, got classified. Tropical Storm Dorian is centered um, about 550 miles east of the Windward Islands this morning. Top winds 40 miles an hour expected to slowly strengthen, uh, to slowly strengthen as it approaches the eastern Caribbean. It could become a hurricane uh, about the time that it moves through the Lesser Antilles on Monday night, early Tuesday, and uh, moves into the eastern Caribbean. Could pose a threat to Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, uh, that's the Dominican Republic, and Haiti um, by uh, Wednesday night and Thursday. But there's some chance that the system may not hold together in the Caribbean. Now, the models don't think a lot of it. Uh, the GFS even uh, opens it up back into a wave. And so Dorian may not be the problem. But as you've seen on that earlier um, indication there, um, the, the system in the Gulf may bear watching uh, in that week after Labor Day. This is the official cone, uh, the, old, um, the old cone of um, uncertainty for uh, tropical storm, eventually possibly Hurricane Dorian, uh, as it makes its way into the eastern Caribbean uh, on this week. So something certainly interesting to watch so stay dry as you're heading out to sidewalk film festival later today all your other activities for this sunday i'll be back next sunday with this video of course uh, james will be here with two days all week scott martin will be back next saturday and until i get to sit in the seat again as i always tell you keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.